There was a time when Josh Perry would never have even dreamed of turning out in another team's colours, let alone those of Manly. But as Sea Eagle, now he is, and the Newcastle Junior returns to his old stomping ground on Saturday for the first time since an unhappy departure. Had you questioned Josh Perry at the time he left Newcastle, the big forward could barely disguise his displeasure. Part of the high-profile player purge, these days it's his level of diplomacy that's easy to spot. That's in my past now and I left there and I am had a great time in Newcastle and I'm having a great time here so yeah that's in the past mate, I've got no grudges or anything like that. That's despite comments directed at his previous coach Brian Smith during the pre-season. However Perry did his best to avoid further acrimony today. <laughs> that was a tough year. That's all I was saying. He's already made a mark at Manly. He's hit on Ben Ross, enough to literally spill blood for his new club. It's what awaits against his old team this weekend he's keen to see. I dare say I'm getting a few boos, not the cheers that I'm used to, but um, I'm looking forward to that and uh, I just can't wait to get out there on Saturday. Wanting to treat it like any other game, you'd think that will be hard to do this week. Jim Callanan, NBN News. The Knights have released a 20-man squad for that match against the Seagulls on Saturday night. While it will be settled on later in the week, Scott Duro looks to have retained the number seven jumper as his football education takes another step forward this weekend. While he's soaked up the advice from the club's greatest halfback in Andrew Johns, you couldn't blame Scott Duro for modelling his game on Matt Alford. Similar in stature, the Manly half has built a career out of defying critics over his size. Bumps off Orford. Orford comes back for another go and finally collars the bigger man. He's just a little tough bloke who gets in there and rips and tears. And you know, if one day I could play like him, uh, I think I'd be pretty happy with that. Juro knows his progression will be a week by week process, but he's in for a fair tutorial off Orford this weekend. Good old fashioned pride, his main motivation though in this meeting. Give me a spanking on me debut, so it'll uh, be nice to get some revenge on him this time. With Steve Simpson out injured, Cameron Seraldo is in line to make his club first grade debut in a new look back row. The final 17 though won't be made clear until later in the week.